Uh, hola. Hola, hola. 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 Uh, hola. And nice to meet you. And uh, as first, I want to, uh, to explain a little bit to our viewers so where we are. Uh, we are in Paraguay and uh, with my partner Alex. And uh, we arrive uh, uh, to the company Ferrovia. She's an owner or a owner? Owner. 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 Today it's our first day uh, we meet together, and uh, I want to ask some questions about history of Mate or also history of Heroia brand, and uh, it will be interesting for all, all uh, Mate lovers, I think. Uh, so maybe first questions: It's about uh, when when it was started and uh, small history of Heroia brand. If she can explain. Heroia commenced in the year 2009. En 2009, ah, 2009. Nació con un concepto completo. Mm -hmm. So that's the concept of the family, mm -hmm. the original uh, family for, for the, the food business. Uh -huh. The food concept, they maintain and sustain, and it's the, the, the one that they, they support the brand. Uh -huh. It's a full story behind the brand. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que vieron y nos encanta. So uh, she said, well, this is what you saw, and we love that. <laughs> That's great. And uh, they also, just the main point is about organic. Uh, can she a little bit explain of uh, what is it, how it, how it's organic growing of matter, yellow matter? In cualquier producto, el, la certificación organica. Mm -hmm. uh, she explained that being organic means many things. It started with the seed. Uh, from, from the, the seed, uh -huh. from the seed, it starts with the seed, wow. uh -huh. the land, the plantation, the harvest, so the whole, whole the thing. full is a full is a full concept really uh -huh. until the end, uh, the product packaging. you see, uh -huh. including the packaging, the inside packaging, the outside packaging, everything is organic. Wow, so it's a completely it's all a the process. It, it, uh, That's great. And it's a, uh, another thing she explained is a is a very strong. Uh, control control about uh, being organic. Uh -huh. It's something that people care, do care mm -hmm. a lot. I heard, but I just read that they have a USDA, USA certificate, yes, and uh, yeah. and uh, how many countries you already export and uh, communicate with? La experiencia en Estados Unidos es fantástica. Uh, she said that having the F FDA certificate mm -hmm. for being organic, even in the United States, uh, improved the, the brand very very very, very yeah, hard to do very high right? standard that, uh, yeah. probably very few few brands have the same certification oh, yeah, 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 yeah. so they started to to export many years ago and they continue and following continue they were exporting to the united states uh -huh. it's, a, it's a big market for them uh, that's great también les quiero contar de que tenemos un proveedor exclusivo para un cliente exclusivo en Estados Unidos in the united states market they have the uh, 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 only one supplier, an uh, Indian uh, supplier, uh -huh. that live in a, in a protected area here in Paraguay. Oh. So they produce all what they produce and it's sold in advance uh -huh. by contract for the United States uh -huh. completely. So just like an uh, exclusive partnership? Yeah. Exclusive yeah. partnership with uh -huh. the in native people, oh, Indians. Oh, that's great. Uh, from, from, great. from reservation, from forest, oh. from virgin forest. So, so they produce there. The, the so the matter is not like a a usual, usual, no, regular no plantation. plantation. It's like uh, in the forest. Yeah, in the it's forest. Like wild. Wild, wild harvest. Wild, 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 wild harvest. harvest. So we have uh, like. And it's real wild. In the, the area mm -hmm. is where they uh, produce is real wild. This is what we're looking for. Interesting. Mm -hmm. As Daisy said before, we just communicated a few hours before this uh, video, and uh, she said that today is uh, raining. With, right now is rain season. Uh, we will stay in Paraguay for 10 days more. And if you have uh, time, maybe we also go there. But uh, for now, I don't know if, if it's possible because it's very difficult road there. to to, to yeah, ride there because, because it's really situated in wild forests. Roads are yeah. very very <laughs> difficult to to uh, to, to right. drive in. Yeah, yeah, understood. 
And uh, Alex, if you have some botanic questions, or <laughs> you can think about it, and then you have just ask. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I also, um, for me, it's a very interesting is uh, the history of Mate because uh, I heard a lot of stories about what is originally Guarani, uh, Guarani yeah. drink it, and uh, they use uh, this similar thing like today's uh, Mate, uh, uh -huh. but but it's different type of. Uh, they just eat the leaves or something. Can she explain a little bit of how the mate start to be a product? Okay. Yeah. Para empezar, la yerba mate solamente se planta en América Latina. Mm -hmm. Es una planta originaria de América mm -hmm. Latina. Yerba mate is originally is a plant from America, South America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But mainly in Paraguay it was born. It was discovered in Paraguay. Uh -huh. It's original uh, place. Originally like, in, yeah. from Paraguay. Yeah. There are some plantations, of course, in South Brazil, Argentina too, yeah, but yeah. originally it's a plant from our natives, Guarani, as uh -huh. you mentioned uh -huh. earlier, and uh, uh, it was spread for in the, the colony area uh -huh. in that, uh, that time to other countries, uh, neighbor country, mm -hmm. and but it, uh, there are some different in between the, the use to to, produce, uh, to process in the past mm -hmm. and now. Mm -hmm. By in the past, they used to, to the, the Indian used to drink to as a, a very as to uh, when they were hungry, no food, so to keep the strength, the energy. Yeah. The energy. They, they, they just eat no fresh leaves. Uh, is it true that you just eat the fresh leaves? Fresh leaves. Green, green, uh -huh. uh, no, también en agua caliente, en uh -huh. tea. Uh, uh, like tea, infusions, uh, infusion. uh, with hot Green water, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like the mate today. Ah, sí. like the mate today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Con pajillas, con... No, vos sabés que ya ponían el té en una taza, las hojas, y bebían de la taza. Okay, mm -hmm. they, they didn't use straw in the past. Ah. Probably something new is a straw. Ah. Y en una segunda etapa hacían las pajitas de bambú, de, bam, ah, okay. de, de tacuara. In the second step they improved with the bamboo straw. Ah, the bamboo okay. straw. Yeah. The bamboo ah, straw. The first. Yeah. And probably with the, the, the missions, mm -hmm. who, uh, they spread a lot the the mm -hmm. the beverage. When they call the colony of the this, how do you call them? The Jesuitics. The Jesuitics. Ah, Jesuitics. They just yes. uh, study yeah. them to use. Yeah, uh, because they educate the Indian uh, uh, natives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And one of the main missions uh, were in Paraguay, mm -hmm. and, but they. Later, they, they, they have more location in Argentina, northern Argentina, southern Brazil, uh -huh, too. Uh -huh. So they were the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, spread yeah. the village. Yeah. Quiero contarles también que la yerba mate no tiene vencimiento. Yerba mate leaves, they, they don't, they don't uh, have an end life. Uh, As older they are, uh, and the story it's and well condition is better. Uh, so it's just. Uh, the, real, um, the meaning is just it can be spoiled. It can even store it for a long time, yeah. and it will be okay for. It's going some yes. type of fermentation, right? No, no, uh, no fermentation. No, no. no. no, no, no. Bien empaquetada. Mm. Well packaged. Yeah. No humidity is a problem. Ah, ah, so yeah. it you can it lasts for. Es como el vino. It's like the wine. Ah, you so can it store can be for stored. years. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's very interesting because in good condition storage, oh. you can store it for years. Oh, so it's the same like tea because uh, we have a, there is a very famous with some type of teas. You can also store it in Chinese people call it like lao cha, old aged tea. Aged, yes. aged. So yeah, the yerba have, have the same. Have. Yeah. Yeah. The same. So it's, it's a, the same. Is it comes more better than it's stored or it's the same? Yeah. Si, si mejora almacenado, it get better. Wow. Y, y cuesta oh. más caro. And it's more expensive, of course. Oh, so it also can be a type of investment. You can yeah. buy some <laughs> nice quality matter, yeah, and the story <laughs> that it's much uh, more expensive. So <laughs> it's a nice idea. <laughs> Just yeah. Yeah, okay. And um, about the production, uh, how, do you, how do you count, uh, um, if, if it's not a secret, uh, what is your count of production of uh, the best quality organic type of matter? Uh, what do you mean with count? It's a, a count is a how many, how many uh, quantity? Yes, we have 100,000 hectares that are cultivated. Yes, 100,000 hectares that are cultivated sustainably. Okay. They have a lot of suppliers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. local around the industry in the area, mm -hmm. because it's a forest yeah, area. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, she estimated that there are more than about 100,000 hectares oh. producing yerba mate oh. uh, that supplied to the factory. Oh, that's great. <laughs> A lot of 1,000 hectares. <laughs> y vea, ¿qué son tu, eh, eh, la cosecha es en forma sustentable okay. sin And tocar the, la raíz. The, the harvest is a sustainable harvest. Mm -hmm. So they, they just take the leaf, ah. they don't cut the plant. Ah. So there are plants that are more than 35 years old. Uh, is the plants uh, uh, usually need to be changed or it's a leaf no. for a long time? So it's no, old no. trees. 30 years, more or less. Tiene la planta de las primeras. Okay, no what, what they have, the, the production they buy, yeah. are normally, it's an average of 30 years old plants. 30 years old. Oh. So, so they keep, the, they take care of the plants. Is this plant, can, you, you don't can cut, be, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. wild growing. Is, is this plant die or sometimes, or is it just more, more become, how, how, how the longest life of this plant? ¿Cuál es la vida más larga después de una planta? Y ahí no más, hasta ahí. Y después ya se, hay que renovarla. Sí. Eh, porque están los viveros. Yeah, after 30 years, yeah. they, 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 they last up to 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. some, some of them get to 35. Uh -huh. But later they renew, uh, renew with a new one. Plant. Is it not on seed? The seeds go to a small plant. Yeah, and after viveros. three years, already yeah. can be. And after three years, uh -huh. though, that small plant mm -hmm. start producing leaves. Uh -huh. And how many times in the year you can get a harvest? How, ¿Cuántas veces el año la cosecha? No, Twice. Yes. Twice. Is it the, like, uh, the spring, autumn, which time sí, of year? Tenés la cosecha más o menos de verano y primavera. Uh, summer and spring. Summer, it's the same, in, yes, like year of summer. It's yeah, it's yeah, hot ahora. weather condition. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So it's spring. So now it should be the second harvest. Ah, uh, no, ah, uh, the close. Right now. Yeah, just in April or just... No, uh, for us, spring yeah, starts in, in September. Ah, uh, September. And uh, now we are in summer. It uh, started in, in no December March. the 31. Uh, till uh, March the 31. Ah, uh, yeah. understood. So it's... Uh, the 31. Para poder tocarla la planta. And three years without touching the small plants. Oh. After three years, you can take out... La hoja puede empezar a cosechar. A los tres años. Yeah. La haber and, plantado. Uh, how long it takes... Uh, all the process from the from uh, taking the leaves to the end of the process. How long does it take? ¿Cuánto toma el proceso por donde que sacar la hoja hasta que está un punto terminado? Y te toma por lo menos cuatro meses. Four months at least. Four months. Cuatro ah. meses, ¿verdad? El First come the harvest sapecado. and then you spread the leaves from the sticks, small yeah. sticks. Ah, yeah, yeah. Después tiene el secado the, the y la molienda. Uh -huh. And the the uh, molino, I don't remember now in English. Uh -huh. the, the mix. Ah, the mixing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Triturador. Uh -huh. I've heard a lot of different uh, types of processing uh, use it uh, to make the mate. And uh, what type uh, is more common for, for your company? What you use for, for processing? Could you go ahí, proceso. ¿Cuál sí. es el más común? No, so el, quemado, el, el que pasa por el horno uh -huh. para que es, sí. explote. Un pasado rápido, uh -huh. Basically, the, 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 the most common process that mm -hmm. we use in Paraguay is the mm -hmm. one that she explained before. Uh -huh. uh, we, we, we dry in an oven. Ah. It's a very fast process, uh, uh -huh. dry drying process. Mm -hmm. Those ovens are very hot, so it just uh, there is a, a physical process. Also, something happens with the leaves. Mm -hmm. uh, Besides uh, taking the humidity out, okay. Ah. But that is process is very fast and, and in industrial ovens ah, today. Ah. In the past, you may find sometimes uh, herbs with smoke test uh, ah, uh, because uh, yeah, yeah because uh, some other producers still use uh, woods to other uh, other types yeah, other yeah. types. Yeah. But there's uh, like wood is not so ecological to use a lot yeah. of wood and just uh, and those. Uh, en el caso del, 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 de la madera no es ecológico o cómo se Es total, todo lo que rodea al ambiente de la yerba mate orgánica. She explained, uh, something new for me too, <laughs> is it, as a part of the process, the organic process, that the wood they use ah. to, to put to heat the oven ah. is certified wood. Ah, so special type of wood. should come oh. from a certified uh, forest. forest. 
Ah, okay. not like rainforest. No, you cannot take any ah, wood and ah, put it. Yeah, it's yeah. certified. Of course, wood. they have toxin in the smoke. Not only yeah, toxin, no, 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 but it's sustainable. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, sustainable. Yeah, yeah. It must be like a responsibility. Responsibility. Yeah, 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 sustainable. Wood. Just not just cut it uh, illegally. No, no, cut no. rainforest. Uh, use it. Uh, with C certify uh, certify a forest. Uh -huh. There are Especially many in Paraguay. Uh -huh. Are those are. Uh, 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 you go to, go to front plantation, the same speed, mm -hmm. they produce wood in square meter, ah. they can take the wood. Wow. They cannot take more wood than when they produce. Oh, wow. place. So it's anything is under control. Everything. Uh -huh. Everything five kilometers yeah. around yeah. in the radio of the, the, well, the wood they are using yeah. is certified our area. Ah. There's nothing toxic, nothing chemical. Ah, Everything yeah. is certified in the full area, wow. including right. five kilometers radio. Oh. Entonces, todas estas tormentas que vienen echan muchos árboles y son los primeros que se utilizan. First wood they use for the oven uh -huh. is those that falls after this big storm like this. Ah. So they try to use those no. wood, not catch trees ah, to just... put in the oven. Uh -huh. In case there is no storm, there is no falling uh, trees, uh -huh. then they go to find some. Those yeah. who are all and they can replace for, uh -huh. for new plantation. Ah, uh, understood. So try to be more responsible natural. for human nature. Yeah, natural. That's great. <laughs> right now things change it because before uh, no one cares about it, about yeah. ecology. No one, no one but cares. But now one is <laughs> more... Uh, we are nature lovers. See, nature everything lovers, is yeah. responsible. Yeah, that's, that's really great. Uh, one more question maybe about uh, the, uh, how is uh, uh, Yerba is, uh, what is she's uh, capital? Vazdiste as a book. book. Yes. How it's work for health, for human health, maybe she explained okay. a bit. Is, uh, okay. Because okay. I have a lot of the, the, the effects on human Effects on human, yeah. What is the effect of the Yerba in the human or in the human? Bueno, eh, la hierba en sí contiene 196 vitaminas. Mm. Eh, It's about 196 wow. amino acids, wow. vitamins, and minerals. Uh -huh. And it's 3,000 times more powerful than the green tea in antioxidant. antioxidants. As an antioxidant, it's 3,000 times more effective. Yeah. than the green tea. Oh, so much difference. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which is why uh, Guaranis are so healthy, they still have... Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, <laughs> really, yeah. It's important to know that the Indian Guaranis, as you said, I don't know if you mentioned it, they came to live. In the Guaranis seasons, yeah. 300, 400 years ago, when they, 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 they had no hunting, ah. no fishing in, in some dry season, Uh -huh. They normally they use the yerba, yerba mate uh -huh. to to last seven up to ten days without eating any, any food. Any food. So any food. Any Only food. yerba mate. Oh, so drinking it, it, it's, the, it's the enough mate. for their uh, you know yeah. for. Yeah, that's great. Y lo mismo sucedió en nuestras guerras, verdad? De repente se hacían tan largas que solamente eso tenían para consumir. Also in our in our wars we had. Uh, 150 years ago, again, Brazil, Argentina, and Uruguay, mm -hmm. Paraguay has a mm -hmm. five years war. Mm -hmm. So, the Yerba Mate was a principal. Ah, it was like a war about Yerba yeah, Mate. Because not the reason that we, they, But they, it was, they, was one of the, the reasons. The army took take the, the herb as a replacement for food because there were no food. Uh -huh. So, we used the Yerba Mate to, to last. Ah, it just was like like a feeding for the, for the feeding soldiers. For the soldiers. I misunderstand. Wow. You can do you can eat a uh, fresh mix, or so just showing. No, just showing. Just the, showing. The, 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 the infusion. Uh -huh. The hot infusion or with hot water or cold water. Mm. Mm. It's okay. Mm. So it can be brewed or. Lo que sí también quiero decirles es una diferencia entre la hierba mate orgánica. Sometimes uh, it's interesting to make the difference between the organic. Mm -hmm. Yerba mate and the commercial yerba mate mm -hmm. that you buy in the supermarket everywhere mm -hmm. in, in terms of what digestion uh -huh. and, uh, and do not irritate the, the, uh -huh. the, the system. Uh -huh. Some yerba people will say, no, it's like coffee, you, know, the, you yeah. cannot drink too much because it can uh, irritate so, your, yeah, yeah. your system, yeah, yeah. the stomach, whatever. But the organic doesn't have happen with. Ah, so you can drink much more yeah. and with not any but bad. Uh, yeah, what normally happens is the, the 
the additional uh -huh. products that come with the conversion is what irritates you. This is why you feel not so... Uh, Sometimes. So just, uh, because I heard there is some information in Western media that the mate can bring the cancer or something, maybe it's because of uh, this type of mate. <laughs> Who knows? It's not really. <laughs> it's not really. Yeah, yeah. We believe that yeah, those information was yeah, yeah. just, I don't know how, uh, there's no su uh, support for that information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the fungi all the Paraguay should die of cancer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's if, if you use the super hot water, the super hot, yeah. this can be not so healthy. But if you use uh, normal temperature water. Is it, is it, is it, yeah, is it true that uh, we, we must use uh, not too hot water or yeah. not? Si bien hay el, 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 el ayer mamá de es exactamente lo que ellos quieren aplicar que es que tiene que estar en agua. Mm -hmm. No. Not a no more. No more. 80 no more. grados. Water. Not get them uh, boiled. Ah, not, not boiled. to get to the boiling point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just before. Yeah. They start putting the, 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 the air. Mm -hmm. So, so it can be brewed at the same time as the cold water, just maybe need longer time. And uh, and up to 80. No, no, up to no 80. more than 80. 80 is the, the yeah. suggested temperature. Uh -huh. Probably, as you mentioned, the, it's the very hot weather that will make you yeah. make illness. Or yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, the no the yerba mate. Yeah, yeah. Also, this is can be very hot. Sí. No, eh, además, una temperatura mayor a 80 grados quema ah. la hoja de la yerba. Yeah, yeah. above 80 degrees, it burns the leaves. Ah. Uh, and, and vitamins also. Yeah, yeah. and vitamins also. Uh -huh. So. Yeah. It's important to that detail is important. Maybe some more information what you think needed to be explained to our viewers just to you want to express by yourself. Me me encantaría tener acá una jarra de tereré para que lo, la gente pueda haber apreciado también una jarra de tereré. I wish we could have another presentation the, the tereré is a, in a, in a bowl that we use as in Paraguay is very very popular. popular uh, tereré. Even more tereré than mate. Ah. It's because the the hot weather hot, condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That she another thing, thing she wanted you know to know or to inform your viewers mm -hmm. is the the yerba mate is very healthy, ah. very healthy. It's very interesting to consume until the end of your life. Yeah, now we do in Paraguay and in Argentina, Uruguay, Southern Brazil. Uh -huh. So thank you very much, and I think this is not the last video. I hope we will communicate more uh, and uh, start to pr produce our own brand Mata using the Herovia experience and uh, thank you very much. Uh, bien, <laughs> muchas gracias. 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 Thank you very much. Gracias. And special last thing I want to say, uh, very big thanks uh, to La Cozona Hotel in Asunción. <laughs> Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, because he helped us to translate, and this is a very nice place for advertisement. If you someday will be in Paraguay, I recommend you this place. And the owner is here, so it's <laughs> Thank you very much. To Thank the you very much. Yeah. Пониженное включается. Все норм. Бомба. Я только хотел бы еще, чтобы музло играло. Сейчас музло сейчас я сделаю. И держать главное.